All right, Congressman, thanks for joining us. You have been critical of the eight hardliners that ousted Speaker McCarthy, and now there is still not an elected speaker. Uh, what happens now? Well, according to Patrick McHenry, who is the speaker pro tem, we're going to have a candidate forum Monday night at 6.30 Eastern, and we're going to start voting Tuesday morning at around 10.30 Eastern. So uh, we are back to nominating new candidates for speaker, and we'll see what happens as the process unfolds. As you're starting this process uh, basically over again, what are you looking for in a speaker? Do you believe the party can get to the magic number or is there a need for bipartisan support? And who is to blame for that turmoil? Well, yesterday I put out a uh, press release and I put out a, a statement that basically said, I'm interested in voting for somebody that can bring all of their supporters to the table. And what I mean by that is, if you're interested in becoming the Speaker of the United States House of Representatives as uh, for the Republican majority, show me that you can bring your friends and colleagues and they will support whoever wins the majority when it comes time for that election on Tuesday morning. We don't need somebody that comes in and yeah, they may say, I'll vote for the, the next Speaker, but none of their supporters do. And so I've introduced a unity pledge that I have signed and members of Congress are in the process of signing right now. And it's something that I think has captured the attention of a lot of members. Congressman, do you think that the Republican Party needs to, I guess, take some responsibility or who do you think uh, is to blame for just some of the back and forth when trying to elect a speaker? This all happened because eight members of the Republican conference and every single Democrat voted to oust Kevin McCarthy. That's how we find ourselves in this un unprecedented situation for the first time in 200 plus years of our country's existence. Uh, so at the end of the day, I, I uh, look to those people as the ones who caused this. Um, I do believe that we have to speak as a majority. We have to elect someone. The Republicans in the House of Representatives, we are in charge and we have to deliver on our uh, commitment uh, to getting things done. And hopefully that happens next week. With the continued effort to elect a speaker, are you concerned at all about passing a budget and avoiding a government shutdown? Absolutely. We don't have time to waste. We have a we had a 45 day continuing resolution to keep the government funded that expires on November 17th. Every day that we don't have a speaker and we're not debating budget bills means we're that much closer to another government shutdown. That's outright irresponsible. And we have to get our act together and get back into session and take care of it. Congressman, last question. Are you hopeful and do you believe that this can get done next week? Well, it has to. I mean, I've, I've lost a lot of hope in the last two weeks that this process can be run efficiently. We've seen uh, a lot of delays. I shouldn't be surprised. It took 15 votes on the floor of the House uh, in January to elect Kevin McCarthy. Uh, that said, I know we have to do it. And that's why I'm pushing the unity pledge. If you want my support, show me that the people that support you support the majority, whoever that is, whoever gets elected on Tuesday morning in conference, show me that they are going to have your support. Congressman, thanks for joining us in this busy time. Thank you very much.